Hello my beautiful and amazing people, bad as Dark Zone agents, Uncle Butcher in the building with another barbecue chicken setup. In this one I am using Adrenaline Rush and Intimidate combo, just look at my armor, I am unkillable, this could be one of the best face tank builds out there. You can actually use this build without shields against elites, rogue agents, hunters, forget about those bad boys because we have new sheriff in the town and that's you baby with this absolutely gorgeous setup which will destroy heroic missions, heroic control points, resource convoys, any open world activity, absolutely nasty setup and just look at my survivability, I'm receiving bullets from all sources, doesn't matter elite enemy, non elite enemy, I'm taking care of all poor souls dismantling one enemy after another and it's pretty much game over as usual welcome to, to the insanity uncle butcher in the building if you're new here and one more time just look at the survivability i can do whatever i want against elites they can explode in my face they can shoot me again like i said without any shield whatsoever i'm facing wave after wave boom one explosion another explosion just look at my armor bar nasty 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 build which slaps elites like there is no tomorrow and if you want to be updated with all the best pvp pv builds in division 2 or any other rpg or looter shooter hit that like smash that sub because i will give you the best stuff out there on the market but before we continue with this build quick word from the sponsor dvn.net if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then dvn.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order super quick everything happens through icon sharing this service has been working for many Many years they have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code everybody, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services or use RBD promo code. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, drop your comment down below in the comment section or contact the operator. But now let's get back to this build. And like I said, this could be easily one of the best face tank builds in the game right now. Especially if you can see the survivability and DPS output, and I think this is definitely the hardest hitting face tank build in the game. For main weapon, you could use two guns. I'm using Saint Elmos because I simply love assault rifles way too much in this game. But you could definitely rock Scorpio exotic shotgun as well. It would work pretty well in this build. For specialization though, we will use uh, gunner specialization. Why? Because medkit will give us bonus armor, which will proc intimidate talent. On kill, we will receive increased rate, rate of fire and armor back. And of course, foam grenades, which are extremely handy against bosses, chungus, all that shenanigans, baby. So that's my choice number one. For the weapons though, I'm using St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle, my numbers are kinda decent, I'm using here and there some armor regen attributes, but you can definitely replace those with additional crit chance and crit damage, but just to cap out crit chance, use Orbit DZ exclusive pistol, kill non elite enemies, switch to a main weapon, boom, you have capped out crit chance and additional 40% crit damage but definitely you can replace St. Elmos with uh, Scorpio Shotgun. Scorpio Shotgun is still one of the best PvE weapons in the game for heroic and legendary content. For the second weapon though I'm using Shield Splinter. This one is right now one of the best assault rifles in the game. After title update 20 this bad boy is up there top 5 maybe in someone's uh, charts even top 3. Uh, I would say it's top 5 assault rifle because the competition is stiff, we have Eagle, we have St. Elmos, we have FAMAS, don't forget about that boy, um, of course Shield Splinter, so yeah, even Bighorn is decent these days, so definitely there are some really good assault rifles, so yeah, I would say it's top 5 assault rifle right now, and just like St. Elmos, top 5 
Saint Elmo's for me maybe is top 3 because of those dope weapon attachments. By far the best exotic weapon attachments in the game. Crit chance, crit damage and weapon handling with that magazine size is all we need baby. For the mask though I'm using Catharsis Exotic Mask. Since this is face tank build we will receive shit ton of incoming damage and that will give us uh, Additional damage buff with full stacks, 30% extra weapon damage and eventually your mask will release healing cloud which will heal not by a lot but in this setup with this protection from elites you will notice really really quickly how you're gonna heal yourself especially because that healing will happen under that bonus armor from Adrenaline Rush Talent. You're gonna proc Adrenaline Rush Talent and underneath you will gain armor regen and this green cloud will heal you and that's the reason why multiple elites can't do shit to me. Three elites are shooting in my back, ass, balls, face, nothing. I am not faced a bit. Give me something more, baby! That's what she said. Ha! So this build is pretty, pretty nuts. For chest piece, I'm using Perfect Intimidate. This chest piece is really tricky because you have to kill all DC hunters to unlock this chest piece. Shield Splinterer Assault Rifle can be unlocked by killing all New York Warlords DLC hunters. So these two items are kind of unique items. You have to do some farming and in one, two days, maybe three days, you will get uh, both items easily. For holster, I'm using improvised piece. For knee pads, glove, the same story. Everywhere I'm using improvised pieces so I could gain additional mod slots. And in those mod slots, I'm putting protection from elite. Unfortunately, my mods are not perfect. I have only three 13% protection from elite mods. And that leads my setup to 73% protection from elites. But you can definitely reach much, much higher. You can gain 75 76 uh, percent protection from elites if you will have like a couple 12 percent protection from elite mods i have two or three 11 percent so kind of low rolls there but still it's more than enough to be pretty much untouchable uh, elite can't do anything to you baby and then simply you have enough dps output to take care uh, with uh, non-elite enemies really easily especially with saint elmos and shock bullets those shock bullets work extremely well for crowd control reasons so all every category is covered dps check crowd control check survivability check mobility check shield free check face tank check i i think if you love run and gun type of uh, setups this is the way to go of course you could use scorpio shotgun for the skills shield decoy striker drone which are just the mic stay safe bye